Video 2. Disassembly of the 11 internal parts of the PC. Now, first thing we're going to take apart, number one, the cooling fan assembly. So first of all, before we take it apart, I'm just going to disconnect its power cable. The small little cable here requires a pinch and it removes. So just a pinch with your thumb there. Secondly, there are a couple of sliders here. If you can see them, I'm going to pull this that way. And now it's free to come out. That's the cooling fan assembly. Number two, the power supply. The silver box up here. We're going to need a Phillips screwdriver. There's two screws that need to be disconnected. Now, also, you may have trouble. There's a small push button up the top up here. Push that, the power supply will release. Now you'll notice that the power supply is pretty much plugged into every other component. So you have to go along and disconnect each one. Most of them pull straight out. Some of them require a little catch to be released. So in this case, it's a push down and then it will then pull. Small little catch there. And then lastly, one down here again with the push catch that needs to be pressed and then released. So you can see that there it needs to be pressed and released. That's the power supply. Now, number three, the heat sink. The CPU heat sink. You can see this green lever here that's holding the heat sink in place. So if I just operate the green lever and the heat sink should come out fairly easy. Here's the heat sink. Number four is the CPU itself. Here we have the CPU chip and this little brown release lever here. This needs to be operated very gently. You can hear that click and then the CPU can be taken out and removed. Number five is the sound card. So if you remember, we have the sound card with a couple of cables here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is disconnect those cables. So it's free to be taken apart. Next, you can see this green bar here that's holding the cards, all the adapter cards in place. So this needs to be pressed down and then dropped. And that will release the cards, enable them to be taken apart. So the sound card, gently, just a little pull, and there it comes. There's the sound card. Now, number six is the video card here. The video card, exactly the same as the sound card, a little pull here, you'll notice it doesn't come out. It's held in place. You should never use excessive force. If something doesn't immediately come, stop and have a look again. Here, if you look at this green assembly, down here in this corner, there's a green lever holding the sound card in place. That needs to be pulled down first, then the sound card can be removed. Video card, sorry. There's our video card. Next, we have our two RAM modules, which are number seven, our RAM modules, here. You have two cream-colored levers, press down, press down, and the RAM module is released. We have another one here, so that's press down, press down, and released. And there's our two RAM modules. Number eight, our DVD player. In this case, we've already removed our power cable when we took out the power supply. So we have one small cable here. 
that transmits our sound to our sound card. And we have our data cable here. So we have a tab of orange here that we pull and release that cable. That cable has a small indentation. It means it can only go back in one direction. So you can't place it in wrong. Now to release the actual unit itself, there's two green levers here. They need to be pressed together and the unit slides out. So that's our DVD player. Number nine, our floppy drive. Again, we've already taken the power supply out, so we just need to remove our data cable. This black plastic tab, you pull on it, it comes out. Again, exactly the same as our DVD player. Pinch those, and it slides out. And that's our floppy drive. Number 10 is our hard drive. Data cable still attached. Needs to be unplugged. Again, two green levers. Pinch them, and it should slide out. And that's our hard drive. And number 11, our motherboard. If you were to take out the motherboard, you'd need to disconnect all of the other ends of the cables. And here you can see our motherboard. If you were to take this apart, I'm not going to do it here. We have a couple of fixing screws. There are a couple of grounding points. And it's held onto the back plate fairly securely. So you need to be extra careful when you're taking that apart. I'm not going to take it out in this case. Um, because what I'm going to do now is reassemble the PC.